By the way, she's no longer a teacher. Isn't that interesting? <laughs> because that's just the attitude. You know, when you have that kind of attitude, it permeates throughout your entire being. <coughs> I refuse to get up in the morning to go teach. Why would I do that? Just pay me. Oh, uh, go ahead. I think, I'm actually going to disagree with Renee. I think you were using a lot of wrist because you just needed to use no forearm or less forearm. Because when you were using all that form and you had a lot of risk, your baton was actually pointing back to the wall a lot. That's a good, a good comment. So if you just get rid of the, I think that's why you couldn't break the parallel or the plane because you were, it was just up here. So you're actually <laughs> seeing, this, you guys are seeing the same thing and calling it two different things. That's what we're doing. Good. Uh, kind of going off what Kate said, a lot of times if you, you watch the tape, you'll see your baton is actually behind your head quite often. Um, I, I think you feel like you have to exaggerate the um, motions for us to see, and that's that's natural. Um, that all of us want to do that, but it's amazing how subtle of motions we will pick up on, and we don't realize that on the podium. It, that's those are true statements. There's also something else going on, and that is when you go here, you're now we're working in a third dimension. We don't see in 3D. We see this way. We see this plane. We don't see this plane. So when you see conductors make a gesture that's this way, they're wasting their energy because you can't see that gesture. The gesture has to be in a 
in a vertical plane out here using that space so we see relevance. This shows us nothing in relationship to it. Boy, the words just aren't coming out of my face very well. <laughs> Anybody else? That said, you look comfortable and it looks easy for you now. It didn't before. So we're making progress. All right.